Hi guys, Miss Darla here, and today we're going to be making binary code bracelets. Okay friends, for this project you are going to need the two attached worksheets, a writing utensil, string or pipe cleaner, and at least two different color of beads. First, you're going to need to pick what word you want to spell in binary code. For this one, I am going to spell fun. Next, I am going to grab the binary code key so that I know what the patterns look like for my selected word. Next, I am going to fill in the corresponding patterns to each letter. This is for when we need to organize the beads to get them in the proper order. Now that the pattern is filled in, I need to choose two different colored beads. One will represent the black, and the other one will represent the white. For this one, I have chosen the colors yellow and white. I decided that yellow would represent black and white would represent white. So now I am going to go ahead and organize all of my beads to the corresponding colors. Now that the beads are all organized, I'm going to place them on this pipe cleaner to form a bracelet. Be sure to place them on carefully and don't forget to hold one of the ends so you don't lose your beads. Once you have all of your beads in place, if you're using a pipe cleaner, you can go ahead and twist the ends together. If you're using string, make sure you tie it securely. And there you have it, a binary code bracelet that only you can read. But don't stop there, you can spell other words. For this one, I spelled the word cool. If you want to spell a longer word, like laugh, then instead of a bracelet, you can do a necklace. I hope you've enjoyed this project and get to make your very own binary code bracelet at home. Until next time, bye guys!